Hi, this is Bobby with the Vespasian Warner Public Library, and I'm here with another tale from the archive where we talk about objects and documents from our local history collection. Today we're going to be going into a bit of our own history and talk about Miss Lillian Kent. Some of you might actually remember when Miss Kent was the, what they called then the librarian, what we would call now the director of the Vespasian Warner Library. She is actually the longest serving staff member that I'm aware of. She served at the library for 56 years from 1912 to 1966, and pardon me, 54 years. And for most of that time, she was the librarian. Miss Kent was responsible for us expanding our collections. She was the first one to start a story time for children. She also was instrumental in helping us start the uh, Rolling Prairie Library System, which we now have as Illinois Heartland Library System that allows things like interlibrary loan. One of Miss Kent's relatives recently donated a scrapbook to the library, which is wonderful and just full of library history. And here are a few objects from it. We have these great pictures of Miss Kent in our original building, which you'll recognize now as our audiovisual and periodicals area, though I'm sure many of you remember when it was the library. I certainly do. And this card catalog is now our seat library. So we don't let things go to waste at the library. We find ways to repurpose them. We also have these lovely pictures of what the library building used to look like. So this is the building we're standing in right now, but our expansion is eh, off the side there. There was something a little bit curious about Miss Kent's time at the library, which you'll see here. In 1921, she actually tried to resign her position and the board instead granted her a year's leave of absence. And we have no idea why. Uh, the local newspaper said at the time she had other duties to attend to, but of course we're very curious about what those other duties could have been. So she did come back in 1922 and resumed her place as librarian, which she was until 1966. We also had a few glimpses into Miss Kent's early years, including this Clinton Public Library card that showed that she always loved books and loved reading. Before we had a tax-supported library in the city of Clinton, uh, the local PEO chapter started a circulating library where patrons could pay a fee every year in order to borrow library books, and that was the Clinton Public Library. When Miss Kent retired in 1966, it was kind of a big deal because she had been part of the library world for so long, and she even received, she received letters from other directors and from the Illinois Library Association, but also from the Secretary of State congratulating her on her retirement and thanking her for the decades of work she poured into the library in Illinois. So thank you for joining us for this tale from the archive and hope to see you soon.